Apostolate Jesus 28 is the resurrection of Lazarus a miracle, JN 11? Is the resurrection of Lazarus a true miracle in the strong sense of the word? Indeed, we know, resurrection occurs, there are now more and more or it, thanks to medicine development over the last 50 years, since the resuscitation techniques were invented. Before, it was considered that a person whose breathing had stopped, we used to put a small mirror under the nose, was dead. Hence sometimes there were surprising awakenings, called resurrections. Now we know that death, in the clinical sense of the term, is when the electroencephalogram, the absence of circulation in the brain has been so long, that the brain is irretrievably destroyed. Sometimes it comes from something else, an infarctus in the brain in short, whatever, the brain must be destroyed irreversibly. Thus we carry for that electroencephalograms tests. If someone falls into cardiac arrest and the firemen arrive within three or four minutes, they make an electric shock, they make the heart start back, it is not a miracle. It's a prodigy, the brain is not destroyed, it's put in protection, and often, however, People who have experienced this cardiac arrest have seen the door of death and the angels that appeared and often they are upset. In the case of Lazare, it's quite different. It's summertime. He has been dead for three days and his body breaks down to the point that his sisters Marth and Marie urgently had to speed up his burial. He already stinks. So they say to Jesus. It already stinks. It means that at the brain damage is absolutely irremediable, if the rest of the body and in particular the abdomen is already corrupt. The brain in turn is an extremely fragile organ, the links between cells break very, very fast. And so accordingly, when Jesus said, come out of the grave, and Lazarus comes out, still clothed in his bandages, his shroud, there was truly a miracle. The miracle, unlike the prodigy, can only be done by the omnipotence of God. The angels can do nothing. The doctors cannot help it. It takes omnipotence because hundreds of billions of axons, connections in the brain have to be reconstructed, and decomposed organs that are already corrupted have to be restored. A prodigy can find an explanation in natural phenomena, a miracle is against the fundamental nature of a certain order. For example, the order of life makes that if human life is dead and broken down, it does not return of itself. Be careful, some invertebrates that have been dead and frozen for centuries sometimes, they thaw and they leave. It is a prodigy of nature, it is not a miracle. So, is this miracle of Lazarus demonstrable from the point of view of the historico-critical method? Of course not. We have only this unique story, the account of this gospel according to St. John. Yet, in terms of faith, the certainty that God does not deceive us, obviously gives us the insurance that it took place. Some exegesis say, but there is no need to believe it. In the end what matters is the symbolic meaning. They are wrong. Because if Lazarus is a trick, a deception, then the resurrection of Christ is fake and, if the resurrection of Christ is fake then we are dealing with liars, then all this religion is not worth anything, everything is lost, says Saint Paul, and we are not saved. So faith, for sure, says that this miracle took place.